Hey guys, what's up? Um, today I'm going to show you how to speed up your Mac or free up some space. And uh, you can do this easily by getting three programs. Yes, I know you're trying to free up space, but uh, this, even downloading this, you'll get more space than you would before you got it, if you catch what I just said. So you're going to want to download three programs. And um, first, we're going to download, download Onyx. And what this does is it deletes deletes caches, um, it performs maintenance and stuff, so this could be the most helpful tool. And um, this is, you could use this quite often because uh, your Firefox and like Microsoft Word, iMovie, they get caches and um, those build on every day I guess. So you can you can delete every day, every week, it, try to save yourself some uh, hard drive space. Uh, the second one is uh, from Activa, it's called iFree Mem. It is not a free program, but you can use a trial and it works just fine. And what this does is this frees up your memory, not your hard drive. So your memory, it improves your RAM. I have no clue how it works, but it makes your computer a lot faster. And monolingual. Um, you may know that uh, your computer, the programs, they install several languages onto your computer, as you can see here in the screenshot. And they also have architectures, which is like PowerPC, Intel Max, and all the previous versions are also installed on your Mac. So what you want to do is uncheck the ones that are that you don't have. So once you've downloaded those programs, drag them into your applications folder and just open them up. So right now I'm going to open up Monolingual. And what this is going to do is it is going, okay, sure, we're going to check automatically for our updates. So what we're going to do now is we're going to delete all the languages that we don't want. So what we're going to do is we're just going to check them. So every time you install, I guess you could do this every time you install your program, do it every week after you install a couple programs. So just go through here, uh, bear with me guys, I'm just deleting some languages and you definitely want to keep one language otherwise I'm not I have not tried what happened to see what happens and I don't plan on it um, so I recommend just leaving it leaving at least one language so we're gonna remove every language but English uh, let me just make sure I have English okay Remove, continue, type in your password, and it's deleting all our unwanted languages. So while that's working, we're going to come over here, go into Onyx. Okay, what this does is this is going to delete your... Um, it's going to delete your language, I'm not your language, your caches, but what it's going to do now, it's going to vertify your disk. Well, I did this yesterday, so I'm going to click cancel. And before running maintenance or cleaning tasks, we recommend Onyx to vertify the startup disk. Well, I did that yesterday. I'm going to type in my password, because you guys are definitely going to want to know your password, because what this does is it deletes stuff off your computer. So you do you really don't want to delete stuff off your computer unless you really know what you're doing. So like it says here, back up your data and your computer will freeze. It will freeze your computer, so don't go crazy. And it does not remove your personal data data. And it might not um, delete like a hidden function if you're having problems with your computer, don't resource this as a uh, guide or help. It might help it, might not. So this is like all your uh, drop downs here. It's just what you're going to use. Like cleaning, I deleted all my caches. Everything I don't need except for bookmarks because I use those all the time. So I just deleted pretty much everything in my caches. And then I later went through my computer, but I'll get to that in a second. And you can delete manuals. Not sure if you really want to and parameters, automation, it's pretty much going to do the stuff for you. 
It's going to do this stuff for you, what you would take you a long time to go through every program to do, all in one little program. So, it's pretty much going to delete recent items and stuff that you really don't want on your computer that you can just remove, save you some room. So, uh, yeah, that's all we're going to do with that program. And we're going to quit that. Now we're going to go up iFreeMem. What's going to pop up now is free trial with trial pay. If you like doing offers, go for it. If you want to buy it, don't recommend it. Not that cool. I mean, you can always just, like, get a... It's just not that big of a deal. Like, this is one of those things that you use if you have one gig of RAM or half a gig of RAM. So I'm just going to continue my trial. See, I have plenty of RAM left. But what's it? what it's going to do is it's going to free my RAM up. So I'm just going to open some programs up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to optimize memory. Um, I'm warning you right now, guys, when I press optimize memory, my audio is going to go off because my RAM, first it's going to go really low, causing it to freeze a little, so screen flow and the audio might not be right on track, but I will make sure when I go back and edit editing this video that I try to get everything back on track as much as I can. So what I'm going to do is optimize my memory. As you can see, it's getting really low right now. But that's just all part of the process. Okay, so you might not notice a huge difference, but your computer, what will pop up for you is your computer is now quick, enjoy it. Um, you may realize that it actually is a lot quicker because look, my memory was a lot higher before, like my memory usage, and it has dropped down significantly. See, there's my peak, but if you look closely, yeah, it went down. So uh, that's cool to know. I'm going to quit this. Now we're going to go back to the other programs we were using. Okay, so monolingual is still deleting all my uh, languages from all my applications. So I'm going to pause this video right now. I will get back to you in a minute. As I'm back, and as you can see, files removed, space saved, 4.1 gigabytes. So that is a lot of space I just freed up right there. Um, when I got these programs yesterday, I started off with 70 gigs left on my computer because I'm running boot camp, which is Windows 7. It's cool. I like Mac better. Anyways, so far I've saved myself 24 gigabytes, almost 25. So uh, once we get through this, input menu, all the computer layouts, you can delete every single one except for one. So whichever computer layout, your uh, keyboard layout you're using, um, feel free to delete the other ones. I only want Apple keyboard layout. I really don't need Korean and all that crap. I have no clue of those languages, but anyway, I'll stop rambling and I'll just click remove again. So yes, yeah, sure, I would, oops. Remove, continue. Type my password in again. So uh, right now it's c deleting all the uh, unwanted keyboard layouts that I have stored on my computer. And I am once again going to pause the video. Monolingual is still deleting all these PowerPC. Uh, files from my uh, hard drive. Hopefully this will save me up some space. In the meantime, I will be pausing the video yet again. This time I saved 145 megabytes, but um, I accidentally closed it out. It's not really anything special, but uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, rate this video high, and um, as you may be able to tell, languages is the only one that gives you a significant amount of file space back. But it's always great to save a couple me uh, hundred megabytes of disk space. So please subscribe, comment. I'll see you guys in the next video.